Market uncertainties occur with no notice. Whether it's a routine stop hunt, whipsaw, pandemics, wars and rumors of wars, flash crashes, and sudden economic calamities, your perfectly good technical trades can turn into disasters at alarming speed. Just as institutional traders have emergency breaks in place to halt all trading, we as retail traders have the same tools available to us. This tool is available completely free with no strings attached. Whether you are a manual trader, an EA trader, or both, this tool is worth at least checking out and testing. It's your trading capital that's on the line. The Account Protector is a free trade management tool that loads as an expert advisor, or EA. It is brought to you by the same people who make the excellent position size calculator. The Account Protector does not take trades. Rather, it acts as a circuit breaker or emergency break for your trading account. This tool works either on manual accounts or accounts that are using EAs to execute trades. It is available for both MT4 and MT5 as a free download. Let's explore how this tool works. The heart of the account protector lies in the actions it takes. Specifically, the tool can be configured to close some or all of your trading volume, delete all pending orders, Disable auto trading, which master switches all EAs off, and if you desire, shut down your platform completely. The tool can also make notification by sending a push notification to your smartphone and or sending an email. Your platform must already be configured for making these notifications, which is beyond the scope of discussing this tool. Checking the box next to the chosen action allows it to be invoked. Any or all of these actions are invoked in four principal ways. Account stops, a manual emergency button, a timer, and conditions. The accounts I operate this tool on are configured as you see here. Close all open trades, that is 100% of the trading volume, delete all pending orders, and disable automatic trading. Now, let's get to the brains of how the account protector works. The features I really like, and two I recommend using with great caution or avoiding altogether. The emergency button must be enabled via inputs, which like any EA are accessed by pressing the F7 key. I'll show you inputs towards the end of this video. A single click of the emergency button will immediately execute all the actions you have chosen to be invoked. Again, for my accounts, that means close all open trades, delete all pending orders, and turn off all automatic trading. If you trade FX for a prop firm or some other institution, a key part of being able to continue trading the firm's capital is exiting all your trades just prior to Friday's market close. These firms do not want their traders taking risks with weekend gaps. You may choose to implement such a rule as a retail trader working with your own capital. The spot FX markets close each Friday at 1700 Eastern, that is, GMT minus five. So you'll most likely want to flat out your trades by 1630 or 1645 GMT minus five. To correctly configure the account protector, you need to compare your broker's server time to GMT minus five. This will help you determine the number of hours offset. Your platform's market watch window has the broker server time. For example, if it's 0800 now on your broker server and it's 0300 GMT minus five, then your broker server is five hours ahead of New York. For this demo account, 
My broker server is GMT plus two. Therefore, timer is checked on. I want all trades closed at 1630 Eastern on Fridays. So I enter 2330 for the broker server time. That is seven hours ahead, which corresponds with the 1630 GMT minus five close. Finally, I set the day of the week to Friday. Now the account protector will close all open trades, delete all pending orders, and disable all automatic trading every Friday at 1630 Eastern. It will take these actions whether the account is manually traded or EA traded. Some futures traders will most likely want to close all trades before each daily rollover, which in those markets is considered a weekend gap. Margin requirements increase significantly during the daily rollovers for futures. That is a very strong incentive for daily closing if you have a small account. Futures traders will want to set the day of the week to any. Here we see the account protector one minute before the scheduled Friday close on this demo account. There are no pending orders open. Now there are no open trades and auto trading is disabled. Notice the smiley face has changed to a sad face. Notice too, balance and equity are equal. I like the equity trailing stop very much and consider this one of the most powerful features of the account protector. The equity trailing stop is set at your account's funding currency. You can multiply your equity by the desired percent risk on account equity to set the stop. For example, $10,000 times 2% or 0 0.02 is $200. You should calculate the percentage that is appropriate to your trading style and method. The screen you are watching is from my personal live account, which is running hedge trades. So I'm calculating on 2%. A swing trading account might have this set at 5% or even 10%. If you are trading for a firm with a very large account, this will most likely be calculated for a fraction of 1%. As your basket of trades closes out and your equity changes, you'll want to recalculate your stop. A nice feature of the equity trailing stop is that it is hidden from brokers. If you think your broker is hunting your stops, you'll appreciate this feature very much. Here is the equity trailing stop enlarged. I set this to 2% of my personal live account, which had the equity you see in the snapshot. That was a good trading day and the stop was not triggered. You'll also find pip value based trailing and break even stops. I am not a big fan of these. Sticking just with spot FX, different currency pairs had different pip values. For a standard lot on spot FX, pip value range from as little as 50 cents up to 12 or $13. If you also trade CFDs on the same account, these pip based settings will prematurely stop you out. CFDs don't even use pips, they use ticks. So if you feel compelled to use these pip based stops, you must restrict your account to spot FX and further trade only pairs with similar pip values. If your basket of trades all have the same pip value range, then you are going to set these based on the number of pips you are willing to lose for the entire basket of trades. For example, you have one trade open on Euro USD, Pound USD, and Aussie USD. All of these are $10 per pip for a standard lot. You might set a break even stop probably to around 150 to 200 pips in profit and a trailing stop to begin around 300 to 450 pips in profit if these are taken on the H4 to daily timeframes. In my opinion, 
you'll do better with the equity stop. It's simpler to calculate and it operates off your entire account's equity. Here are the PIP based stops enlarged. They are not in use on this account. Conditions are divided into four main categories, floating loss, floating profit, equity, and free margin. You can choose percent, currency units, or pips. Currency units refers to a set value in the currency your account is funded in. For example, $500, 500 euros, 500 pounds, and so on. The equity-based settings are my favorite. Similar to the equity stop, you can take a new equity snapshot and trail your account stop. Floating profit and loss settings also work very well, as does free margin. It boils down to personal preference. What I like about all these condition settings is that they also work for profit. Example, your account has grown 10%. You might want to flat out and stop all trading so you can withdraw your profits and enjoy the fruit of your labor. I don't recommend PIP-based settings unless your account is strictly spot FX and your basket of trades has the same PIP value range. But the PIP-based settings are there if you want to use them. I'm calling out these two condition settings because I consider them to be the most powerful of the group. First, once I check that box, if floating profit reaches $10,000 on this account, all trades will be closed and automatic trading turned off, which would allow me to withdraw the profits. That is the point of trading, to withdraw your profits and enjoy the fruit of your labor. The equity stop is fixed and set based on your current equity snapshot. After trades are closed, you want to take a fresh snapshot to reflect your current equity, hopefully jumping your stop higher. I'm risking three tenths of 1% because this is a special half million dollar demo account such as would be traded for a prop firm. Filters are an advanced feature of the account protector. You can exclude trades by magic number. Use the account protector only for the instrument it's loaded on. Exclude instruments based on comment. The account protector has a small set of inputs, making it simple to configure. I recommend that the emergency button be enabled. I also recommend the do not reset actions and conditions both be set to true. I also think the chart should be in the background. The account protector can be loaded on any chart. As you saw in these examples, I loaded it on New Zealand dollar versus United States dollar. You can always load a separate chart of the same instrument if you plan to trade it.